it was on this drive that people realized that this Lake Travis team would be a really hard team to stop. And they had an undefeated season the next season and ended up ranked number four in the whole USA. This is only the second game of Abe Willow's varsity campaign and nobody but his coaches knew just how powerful this kid was. He was squatting over 500 pounds in high school. In college, he tied the record for the all time pen power squat, including the 340 pound lineman with this 380 pound squat. So he was a fast shifty bat, but he could run it right down their throats if needed. And here's a situation in the third quarter against a powerful big Copperas Cove playoff caliber defense where he runs it right down their throat and they know what's coming and they can't stop it. And that was part of the key of this team's greatness because since Abe could do that, every defense had to guard against the run on every single play. So the simplest play fake to Abe got Charlie Brewer a lot of time to make these wonderful passes that he was capable of. to go third quarter, 30 to 6. Brewer hands the ball off, up the middle, tough running. One of the better runs of the night for Lake Travis as Willows gets out to the 30-yard line. He hadn't had a lot of production tonight, Mark, but you know what's good about that? He'll be around again next week. He'll be nice and fresh oh. next week's game. He toted the rock all over the place last year. Brewer. Fakes the handoff, he'll keep it going around the right side. Took a pretty good shot on the play. He didn't move the sticks. Justin what, Orr. They're not afraid the to run that young guy, are they? Something that with Michael Brewer and Garrett Gilbert. Fair enough. Handoff, Willows zigzags his way into the secondary across the 45. Tough running the 46. Another first down. Clock will stop as they reset the sticks. Oates goes back in motion to the left. Two receivers each way. And again, a handoff. Willows following his blockers. Spins off a tackle. Picks up seven on first and 20. But when they spread the field like that, it creates some holes to run. Yeah, especially in the middle, you're right. Now, when you were running the backs coach, they didn't. There wasn't as much spread going on like that. No, it was offset eye, a couple wide receivers, two tight ends. Ricky didn't need much. Hand off again to Willows, going left. Back pedals his way across midfield to the 49. Another good game. They got, they got this team on, they got this team on their heels now. Well, Mark, last week, I, I, I didn't know what Willows would be like in this game this week. I thought he'd have to rest all of Sunday and Monday and everything else the way he played. He looks fresh now. I'm sure he got lots of fluids this week. And again, Willows drives forward, has the first down. This offensive line and Abe Willows taking over the game. Yep. This is the time of the game where you try to ice the game, try to get it over with in the third quarter. Ten yards a pop. And this is a demoralizing way. It is. This hurts. To beat a team. Especially when you know it's coming, you can't do anything about it. 30 to 6, our score. Fake the hand. Another hand. And another. Willows. Willows around the right side. Again into the secondary. Eight Plowing his way side. up to the 31. Down to the 32. Now, these are the things you have to do if you're gonna if you're gonna play for a championship, you know, third quarter, fourth quarter, when you want to run the clock out. Yeah, we know the Lake Travis can throw the ball. We know Charlie and the wide receivers can throw and catch and do those things. But can they ground it out and end the ball game when they have to? Then 26 to play in the third. Cavs driving up 30 to six. Handoff, Willows going left. Willows is stopped, but not before another first down. And Hank Carter made mention of this in our pregame chat. I said, as high powered an offense as Cove had last week, do you anticipate slowing the game down? He goes, the only time we ever want to slow the game down is when we're way out in front and we want to ice it. That's what they're doing right now. 66 seconds left in the third. Brewer rolls left, looking to throw, and fires it down and throws it away. 
on second and ten. Brewer, Coxon fires the out. It's completed to triple coverage. But a beautiful job by Kate Green of finding a little hole and waiting for the ball, which was put right on the money. And a good job by the offensive line of holding up uh, to the not so much pressure of Cove just now. If I'm not mistaken, Cade Green played for Wisconsin. First and ten from the 14-yard line. Handoff, Willis starts left, back to his right. Let me tell you, he is a load. He's taking three to four guys for a ride down there. But he starts to get on a little bit of a roll. He gets big chunks of yardage. Second and three from the seven. Brewer to Willows. Stopped initially. Second effort gets him across. Touchdown, Lake Travis from seven yards out. Abe Willows. That was a great, that was a great, great push by the offensive line. Also a great run by Willows. Now that's demoralizing right there. You know where he took it, bud? Did he take it to the house? He took it to the house. But that was the running game we were talking about. Yep. This is where you wear the team down in the, in the second half, almost the end of the third quarter. Now in the fourth quarter. Seven-yard touchdown, 13-play, 80-yard drive for the Cavaliers. Took a lot of time off the clock there, too, Buck. Yeah, that's the one that hurts. That's the one that hurts an awful lot if you're a defensive team. When you know they're going to run the ball and there's nothing that you can do about it. I'm yours until the end of time. My son Abe had offers from Air Force, Harvard, and ended up going to the Wharton School of Business, playing for the Penn Quakers. He had great moments at Penn when they would give him the ball, and is now an artist in L.A. He does beautiful wall art like this one I got for about $1,500, and you can contact him at this email. When a team has a power back like King Henry or Franco Harris, it's really hard to stop that team.